guys, Artemis here from Shim Sona Sense Pass. Uh, a few of you have asked about how, how is it the best way to heat the hot tub. And I wanted to make a video and show you what type of wood I use, how long does it take. We'll measure the temperature, we'll see how it all goes throughout the day and how many hours it takes. Let's get into it. There are a few things that can affect the time it takes to heat the hot tub. First of all, the outside temperature. Today we have a nice sunny day, it's about 11 degrees air. 11 degrees Celsius. The second is the temperature of the water we start with. Uh, the water temperature is around 6 degrees. Now the third thing is the amount of water we have. This is a standard hot tub uh, which is 1500 millimeter diameter and 900 tall so we have approximately 1500 liters in this hot tub so it will take a while to heat it from 6 degrees to 40 degrees. So we'll mix the water just to make sure we get the, get the uniform and well mixed water to have, a, have this nice thermometer to check it. Oh, it's pretty cold. Freezing. So we get about six degrees the temperature of the water to start with. Another few things that can affect the time it takes to heat the hot tub is the how dry is the wood and how how large or small pieces are because we need a combination of both. We need some chunky pieces that will maintain the fire and some smaller ones which will actually burn a little bit better and help maintaining that fire in the firewood heater. So let's get into it, let's fire it up and see how long it takes. pieces the easier it will be to maintain the fire and yet with the smaller pieces they will burn through much faster so you will need to come back to the heater more often so the best way is to actually have a combination of different sizes you have a few larger pieces and a few smaller pieces the smaller pieces will keep the fire going while the larger will allow you to come back to it maybe every half hour or an hour So the fire is going, we started it up and the time is 1.40 p.m. So a couple of things guys I wanted to mention is when you fired it up just make sure that your ashtray is relatively empty. So just get the ash out and because having it empty will maintain the airflow. Also, when it's inserted, probably don't insert it all the way. Have about 20 mil gap. That will allow that for easy breathing and sufficient air for the burning, okay? So it's been half an hour, half an hour since we started. It's 2.15. 2 the fire is going really well. Please come over and have a look. And because we're only starting, I will still put in a couple of smaller pieces. A couple of smaller pieces just to get it going. And once it's nice and hot, then I'll start putting some larger pieces. Another thing to mention is check and make sure that your gate valves are always open. They never ever need to be closed. Having them open will ensure that you have good cooling of the speed heat, okay? And they never get melted. So both of the gate valves are open and your hoses are straight with no kinks, nothing at all, nice and straight, allowing the water to flow freely. 
you could check whether we where we started to heat okay so when you when you come to the top fitting top fitting and try to focus you will see some small eddies like warm current is coming up so the water density is reducing and the lighter water is rising the warmer water is rising and it comes through this fitting and you can see it clearly it creates a little bit of a turbulence or this uh, eddies warmer water eddies around the fitting so the process has started all right guys it has been exactly an hour since we started maybe just a little bit over it's 245 245 and we're gonna give it a little bit of a battle a little bit of a mix and see if we heated it at all and it still feels pretty cold about 10 hope you can see it so we'll keep going with the firewood and see how it goes guys took a tape measure just to measure the wood and so that you know exactly what size I'm using. So I believe this would be the perfect size. Something small enough to keep burning and maintaining that high fire. Okay, so it's about 30 or 300 mil in length. And you can see by about 100, a very thin by 30. Now something like this could work as well as 50 and the same about 300. This is still pretty good, it's a little bit larger, still about 300 by 50, so that's probably the best size. You probably won't be able to keep the size always exactly the same, and as I said before, having the combination of some larger pieces, so this would be the larger piece, you can see it's a bit longer, about 30, 300, uh, 250, 250 by 100, so something like that would, would be good. To, to have a sort of combination of two of them together. It has been exactly two hours and it's time to check the temperature again. Just wanted to show you, it's 340. 340. Let's check the temperature and how much heating have we got. Okay, more space, space again, which is pretty warm on the top. So once we mix it up, it's back to, back to, and really it cold here. Now it's been two hours and it looks like we've got another four degrees. Another four degrees and we are at approximately 14, 14 degrees. Fourteen degrees. So and during this time I had to keep topping up the wood and probably put two or three pieces every half an hour. So that's that's the way it goes. <music> Guys it is for 40, 440, and it's time to check it again. Let me just show you. Well, it's actually 450. 450. So we, we fired it up at 140 and it is three hours in. I have been maintaining the fire pretty well, so it's burning nicely. And I'm expecting it to be in around 20 degrees now. Yeah, so we're going pretty solid, you can see it's about, about 20, 19 and a half.
now that we know that heating is established, we're getting about 4-5 degrees every hour. So we need to maintain it, keep the fire going, and so that we don't lose a lot of heat through this open area, I suggest to cover to cover the top of the duct for the time being and only open it maybe every half an hour to an hour to give it a paddle and check the temperature as it goes. Uh, it's a good time to check the fire as well. So you can see when it's going nice and hot there's some big chunk here and it's good time to top it up a few small ones for now Hey guys, time is 5.40 and it's, it has been another hour and we should check the temperature once again. That's stabilized. Take it's 24 degrees. Once again, top it up. Make sure we have plenty of, plenty of wood inside. Awesome. So guys, we've been heating it for a while now. We started at 1.40. And it is now 8, 8.10, 8.10, so that's six and a half hours, six and a half hours of heating and I've been trying to maintain the fire and top it up with the wood around 40-50 minutes, every 40-50 minutes and I'll give it a paddle. So we checked the temperatures with you and now I'm expecting it to be very close to 40. So let's give it a go and check it once again. So this is because we want to get inside as quick as possible. We got it to 33 degrees in six and a half hours. You see here. So, and uh, considering that we taken about four, five, well, sorry, taken about an hour to get to for every four degrees, so we're gonna need to climb by another eight degrees, so that's gonna take another two hours. Let's check the fire. Let's check the fire. How's the fire going? So here it is, still going, still going. And I still have some wood left, so I'm gonna keep topping it up. Probably will need a couple more loads. But important to note, note guys, that it is it is nearly zero degrees outside. Well, probably not zero, but plus two, plus two, which is fairly cold. Saying that, I mean, most of the heat lost through the heater, from the heater. So when it's cold outside, these walls are getting warmer and we are heating the outside air a little bit. The hoses cool as well and not all of the heat transferred to the top but it's doing pretty well, it's doing pretty well. It's still four or five degrees every hour so it's not too far before we jump in. excited because it's been eight hours since we started I have been maintaining the fire really well so I was topping it up every 30 40 minutes just making sure it's going really nice and hot and been paddling it and we've seen a few temperatures with you and it's time to check it so basically eight hours we expect 
climbing about four degrees every hour so it's 32 degrees on top of the six we started from so we should be at around 38 39 and if we're lucky 40 degrees let's give it a go Ooh. Thirty-nine degrees. Look at that. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Very excited to get in. It's been quite a journey, but it, it was good to measure it, and now we know exactly how long it takes. So this particular heater, the thermocycling principle, passive, no pumps, no filters, and it's with the with the volume of water, fifteen hundred liters, it takes an hour for every four degrees rise, even. In day like today around uh, one to two degrees hey guys artist here again and I wanted to finish this video two days later from the time we had a heating today is Tuesday and we had the hot top time on Sunday night it was actually awesome time uh, really enjoyed it awesome hot tub beautiful family time and today two days later at 9 p.m this is 9 9 in the evening i wanted to check what the temperature is two days later so this is exactly 40 48 hours after we had the hot tub how much how far did it cool when you get cedar hot tub cedar being a superior wood it has fantastic thermal insulation properties so and while it's still dry it will it will have even better insulation properties this hot tub is about a year old and the cedar already absorbed a lot of moisture it absorbed a lot of liquid being saturated with liquid the insulation properties are not as good so i'm expecting this hot tub to cool much quicker than the new hot tub and yet let's see so both days we had uh, overcast there wasn't much sun so the solar collector didn't do much job and the temperature would be probably exactly the same as if we didn't have that solar collector there you go and it is at 20 degrees so we lost a fair bit of temperature so we had it at 40 and it is now 20 20 so it cools it cools fairly quick, I would say, but if we were to use it today, there will be only four hours of heating versus eight hours of heating that we had on Sunday. But considering how much fun we had, how awesome it was to sit in the top and enjoy a good conversation under the stars, it was definitely worth it. So thanks a lot for watching and happy hot tubbing time and let me know if you have any comments or feedback about this video in general just send me a message or give me a call thanks guys mm -hmm.